Hey YouTube, it's me, it's your iPhone Captain. Today we're going to be doing the weekly roundup. The first one we're looking at is called Battery Status Bar. You can get this in the Big Boss Repo for 99 cents. What it does is it lets you see how much battery power you have left by displaying a colored line across the top of your status bar there. You can see you get a green line when you have a certain amount of battery left, orange and red when it gets down below a certain percentage. And this is coming pretty handy for me already. I really enjoy it. The next one we're looking at is List Launcher 7. And it's available for 99 cents in Big Boss Repo. And it allows you to open applications directly from Spotlight. All you have to do is simply pull down Spotlight, find the application you want to open, and then tap on that application and then it will then open it immediately and you can continue right on in to play or do whatever it is you was wanting to do pretty awesome overall very useful tweak the next one we're looking at is called custom clock widget builder this is available for 99 cents in big boss it allows you to add different types of widgets to your springboards and the most of the widgets are free you see i have a battery status widget here and a clock I really enjoy that clock and I have another clock as well here you'll see that analog clock is the one that we were seeing on this uh, the customizable clock I'm sorry was the one we were looking at with the gears and stuff and that battery gauge beta and the other clock I'm going to show you here was called the HTC weather clock uh, this is pretty awesome you got your weather and your uh, clock all in one that would be awesome on your first page if you wanted to put that on your home screen for use that way the next one is called metaphrase it allows you to actually translate words directly on your springboard like in safari or wherever you may be and if you need to have those words spoken so you know how to say them then that is also a possibility using metaphrase. And metaphrase has many different dictionaries you can download. I am currently using the Spanish dictionary, dictionary here just to show you a little bit about how it works. And I'm going to let you listen to how you pronounce the word testing in Prudence. Espanol. Prudence. And that is Spanish for testing. And that is metaphrase. The next one is called Polis, and it is a big boss tweak as well, available for 99 cents. And it's a control center tweak. It allows you to customize different applications and the order that they appear in your control center. And it has some settings here we'll look at. And it allows you to choose which applications you want to appear in the control center as well as which order they appear in and you can even change the icons on them and all sorts of different things so let's open up open up the settings here here's how you arrange the icons you see it starts with flashlight and goes right on down the line if we wanted to put adsense first we could do that and we can hide any app we don't want to see we've hidden calculator now when we open it up you see we have a blank icon there so we can go in now and add an icon simply by just tapping on AdSense and going down to select icon. And you can choose from all this list here of anything you want. You simply just find whatever it is you want to use for your AdSense icon. And I'm not going to use any particular one. I'm just going to choose one here randomly just for the video so we can get on with the video here. But after you choose your icon it will of course put that graphic they call these uh, glyphics I think uh, I think I may have pronounced that wrong I'm not very sure but anyway you saw that it put that little uh, graphic in place there for my AdSense and Polis really makes using the control center a lot easier and it's a lot more beneficial. You can control the number of applications that appear in the row. I think it goes from one to six. 
and you can have them as little like rounded squares or circle shapes that's going to depend totally up to you uh, that is called polis and it's available for 99 cents the next one we're looking at is called vertex and it's available for a dollar 49 in the big boss repo and this is a awesome app switcher and it's just a very very user friendly way to interact with every setting imaginable on your device they have included music controls uh, brightness and they've even added all sorts of different toggles that appear right below the app switcher and you can even change whether or not you want your icons to appear right below the little cards that you see there and you just simply can do all this under the settings menu under vertex and you see there if you flip off the uh, toggle that's labeled icons I think I'm telling you properly here um, then you will no longer have icons under your the little card switchers are you see and it's a very awesome way guys to use your app switcher you can just simply flip an application up to close it and you can even respring directly from there they're predicting that this will be a lot of the what what an iOS 8 will look like the next one we're looking at here is called rain lock this is an animated lock screen widget and you can customize it a great deal it allows you to have an animated lock screen that appears like rain falling uh, it's just really a appearance thing rather than a use I guess you could say and you see there it as you you can activate it by tapping and once you tap the screen it will appear to rain and you can customize those letters if you want them to be something else you can put a word in if you want it to be a certain word if you want it to rain that word as you uh, that's that definitely is something that can be done and that's called rain lock and it's 250 in big boss repo I have an in-depth review on it if you want to check that out I'll have that in the description below the next one we're looking at guys is called color keyboard and here again I have an in-depth review if you want to check it out color keyboard allows you to add a custom image for the background of your keyboard whether you in portrait or landscape you can have a, a different graphic for portrait and a different one for landscape depending on what you have here you see I'm adding a bluish looking background for portrait and I have a pink background for landscape and you see that it's very easy to do you just simply add in a couple of photographs and you're on your way guys I hope you enjoyed the roundup this week please if you're not a subscriber hit that subscribe button before you leave share it on Facebook and Twitter and keep coming back